Hello everybody, welcome back once again, another edition of Inside the Headset, but I'm not going to get inside the headset, let's uh, let's go in between the bars or under the helmet, let's talk to somebody that played the game, and he's a two-time state championship quarterback for the Smyrna Bulldogs, 06-07, I've got on the phone with me, Sonny Gray, how you doing tonight, Sonny? What's up, Storko, how you doing, my man? I'm doing great, I'm doing great, and I'm glad that you're spending time with them two boys, Declan and, uh, and Gunner, what 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 are they doing too right now? Well, right now they're watching some Halloween, some Halloween stuff. They were supposed to go pick pumpkins, uh, I think, in, on Friday. So we're getting into Halloween and getting that going on. So I played a little golf today. Been hanging out. Did you play over the Country Club? Did you play uh, Nashville golf? Nashville golf. Yep. Yeah, yep. we played Nashville golf. Shot 77. Oh, yeah. nice, nice. Uh, uh, did, did you play just with some former baseball players, or did you play with the club pro there? I, I played with, uh, it was Wyatt, Brian, my buddy Wyatt England, Ryan yep. Reese, and Kirk Casale. Oh, Casale, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you had a good, good, I'm sure there was some stories and some cutting up going on. You know, that that's a hard course, Coach. Not too easy. No. It ain't super easy, Stuart. You've been out there. You sent me some pictures this year when I was in Cincinnati. Now, I tell you what. I, you, pictures out there playing. I tell you what. You know, the, well, the, the par three across the water, that's not Number easy. 10. Yep. Number 10. Yep, that's not easy. The par three uphill. Oh, number eight. Yep, yep. I, Not an easy hole. Man, I birdied that puppy. And I, <laughs> I birdied it. We shot 17 under in a match one time. I birdied that puppy. And then and then the uh, the one that comes down the hill, and it's um, – you're up, you're up on the hill, and there's some rocks or something there, and you shoot it down. And it straight to the left. It goes downhill bingo. straight to the left. Bingo. Number five. Yep. That's a hard shot. The tee shot's always hard there. Yep. It, what you want to do. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, you know, and, <laughs> yeah, you, you, me and you, we, yeah, we're, we're going to have to get out. We're going to have to get out. We'll all right. Yeah, we'll, right. we'll, we'll go play. I'm not real good, but, man, I... I like to have a good time out there. Let's uh, I know you do, me and you both. Yeah, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, you know. Uh, first off, Sonny, you know, a lot of people don't know. I mean, I I followed you for a long time in, in football and met you at a very young age. Your, your father and I were very close and everything. But uh, man, when you played uh, playing football, whether it be youth football, middle school football, or high school football, I mean, just talk a little bit about. You know, just that, that playing that sport versus playing the other sports that you played growing up, how different is that, Coach, as far as the team a- aspect and making sure everything's fine? It's crazy. I mean, I remember, I remember I tried to quit football when I was 12 years old, and my dad just said, I, I, lo- I mean, I loved football. It's my favorite sport to this day, but my dad just said, okay, you want to quit? Go ahead and quit. He said, but get in the truck right now. We're going to go up and watch practice. So we went up to we went up to you know we went he he pulled into the parking lot, pulled me in there and we just sat and we just watched practice. And before even practice was over, I was out there running around with the guys and I was in full pads the next day practicing. So I mean it's just one of those things I've always loved. And he knew how to he knew he knew he knew what was always best for me for sure. And then, uh, it was fun. I mean it was. I loved it, man. Football's my favorite sport for sure. I remember Coach Chad when we were at Smyrna. Coach Chad, I think in my junior junior year or something, Coach Chad, we had a big meeting, and he goes, "He's like, I promise you, one day you're going to look back, and this is going to be the most fun times that you've ever had in the, in an athletic uniform." And I've done a lot of cool things. I've played in multiple all-star games I've, I've been in the big league for, for about seven years now and i still i still cherish those high schools and when i even when i'm in the clubhouse now with the reds or when i was with the yankees or the a's i'm always going to youtube and pulling up high school football clips it's always uh, that's always the the best the best thing to show everybody so it was it was probably some of the best best years of my life you know, and, and running out of that tunnel in the band, and you're 15, 16 years old, and you know you don't know where your life's going to take you, but and you live, 
each of those Friday nights. You know, uh, your, your sophomore, well, let's start off. When you got to be a freshman, I want you to tell the people, how many games had Sonny Gray lost when not, not before you played any freshman games whatsoever and you started playing when you were five years old? You played five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and you twelve. 12. So you got to the high school around 13, 14 years old, but how many games had you lost before you played your first freshman football game? I think we had, we had probably lost, if you combine baseball and football, we'd probably lost maybe seven total games. But if you're just talking football, maybe, I mean, maybe two or three games. Uh, I mean, we, I, we, I was fortunate to grow up on a, on a pretty winning, I was over in Unit, got a good group, and we didn't lose many games. <laughs> Neither, no, no, you didn't, close. Sonny. No, you didn't. You were a Unit Bear, and you put your foot on the throat of the Smyrna Bulldogs any chance you could. Good. Over, and over and loved every minute of it. Oh, you killed me, man! You killed me. You know, and that's the first time we met was over there in Unit when we were playing. I guess 11, 11 year old or something. Triple uh, A, it was, I think. He's playing for David Hines. Yeah, yeah. And you had Ollie Allen, and you had uh, Randell Tillery, you had Quentin Patton. Mune, yep. Jeremy Holt, Jonah Hendricks. You had some just, you, you, and all those guys, you're still friends with them now. I mean, talk about how those relationships of, of just playing sports and how they carry on. Yeah, it's cool. That's, a, that's one of the. You want to talk? Yeah, yes, Declan. He's he's talking a little bit. That's right. all right. We, he's on the show. He, uh, uh, heavy D. Go ahead. <laughs> heavy D. Yeah. Daddy says. No, it was. It's it's fun, man. It's like I said with Declan and Gunner. I mean, some of my best friends. I was the people that the, the people that I grew up playing with when I was five, six, seven years old, and then they carried into high school. And I mean, they're the ones that know my kids now. So it's crazy to think back now, but it's been. Heck, I guess it's been since 2006, 2007 when I was playing football. But it's like I said, it's some of the, it's literally some of the best, best years of your life. So you won two state high school championship rings and, and everything. And, and talk about, let's start off with the 06 run. You were 13 and two in that 06 run, and 12 and three in that in that 07 run. But uh, you know, uh, some great games, coach. Yeah, it was. Looking back at it now, I mean. I think we were supposed to be we were supposed to be the team in my junior year, and I mean I remember losing the Riverdale. 40, oh my God! Forty nine to nothing. Mm-hmm. And then we're supposed to be a really good team. We got a, uh, we were juniors that year. We're supposed to have a good senior class, good se- good junior class, and finally be able to beat Riverdale. And we lost forty nine to nothing, and that was just insane. So then you come back and beat them in the playoffs and go on to win state. I mean that was. That was one of the coolest things ever. And then coming in the next year, uh, just knowing what it's like to win state, never having a team in your in your school ever win a state championship. And then coming in the next year, and then you have some of your best players get hurt early, like Josh Day didn't even play for us. Yeah, but he got injured, uh, injured his toe, Ted Turf yeah, toe. He got an NBA, didn't he? Yeah, he was the he was our number. I mean, he was our best defensive player, and he comes in for the season against turf toe. So we weren't we really were just. I mean, we had. I mean, Rod was Rod. He was Rod. Man, uh, people don't know how big you know. Have you have you, uh, uh, Sonny? You've seen a lot of athletes um, and professional athletes. Have you ever seen a kid have as big as ankles? I mean, he, they were the size yeah, of pic- guys were huge. Pick picnic hams. I'm not kidding, kids. Picnic hams. Stud man. And he was so good. He was so good. Um, it made him. It made it easy for me. I just always would change the. That was the, that was the cool thing about doing it. Is Coach Shad was so good. He let us. I mean, I remember they would give us plays from the sidelines, and then we changed. The, I would. I was. He would allow me to change the play. I changed the play, and we had all these different codes. I changed the play to the other side. I completely changed the play. I mean, it was. I mean, looking back at it, that's one thing I want to do. I want to be a high school coach when I'm done playing baseball for sure. Football. Coach. Oh, I, listen, so if we're going to do it, I, I'm coming. I'm all in. You know, I'm coming with yeah. you. So, you know, if we're if we going to do I this. Some, I got some I got some time. I got some time still ahead of me in baseball. But, yeah, right, right. But, 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 but we go, are we going to do it? Is that what you want to do? You want to coach a little high school football? You want to put the headset on? I don't know if I want to be a head coach, but I would, I would definitely want to work with some quarterbacks and some offense. Okay, so you want to be an offensive coordinator? 
head, head coach has got a good gig, man. I mean, they get, they get a tough gig. It's it's a lot of work they put in. No, nah, you want to be like Ryan A. Lott. Just put a headset on, call Friday night, and, 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 and then, you know, and then lay the headset back. Yeah, I yeah. Love football. You know how much I like football stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, and, and, you know, people don't know it, but you're probably one of the best at PlayStation. You don't want any part. Don't get. Don't even pick up that controller against Sonny. I mean, that's just, that's just that's that's a death wish. I mean, you know, I mean, you're probably one of the best PlayStation players I've ever seen play the game. I mean, you guys. Just know the plays. Just know the plays. I learned them on in high school. Do, do you literally run some of the same plays? Yeah, you can run. So what we used to do, and I remember on our passing plays from from hi buddy, our passing plays for most of them, we would. Uh, it's just it's a simple. If you run like a combination route on the outside, it's a simple play. You're reading literally reading one guy. So you see an outside linebacker. If he goes out. If he goes out to the flat, you just throw the curl behind it. So then if he sits on the curl, you throw it out to the flat. So, I mean, it's most of the plays that we ran at Smyrna were – and and when all else fell, just throw it deep to Rod. That was, that was our offense. So we ran some plays, and then we I read the, I read the outside linebacker and see what he did. And if, if it kind of, like, fell apart on you, just scramble out and throw it up in the air to Rod, and he made a catch. So that was kind of it for us. But it was it was fun. I I, I like that part of it. Well, and you had to, yeah, and you you know you your footwork. You had to be good with your feet and and, and keep your head up. And people don't realize. I mean, if you and, and all your games are on YouTube, but I mean, you got the you got the crap knocked out of you several times. But you held in the pocket, Sonny. I mean, I would say, oh gosh, I hope he gets up. But I mean, you'd hold tight and let that pass go. And you knew he's getting ready to get get. I mean, clobbered. You could see him coming. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, that, that's just, but you have to. Like I said, it's all, it's everything's on timing. I remember when Coach Robbins got to Smyrna, he was, he, he, he was a game changer for me as far as it came to like, just like learning how to be a quarterback, not just a football player. He changed like as far like when I went to Vanderbilt and learned how to become a pitcher from DJ, who was a pitching coach at Vandy. When I was at Smyrna, when Coach Robbins there, I learned how to be a quarterback. Rather than just a good football player, if that makes sense at all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, you honed your skills and you started listening because you knew the instructor knew what they were talking about. Exactly. That, exactly. So that's like it was a game changer for me when I learned how to. And that's what happened my junior and senior year. I was always a good athlete. I was always a good football player. I was always a good baseball you, player. Good basketball you know, player, sonny. You could play basketball. Yeah. Nobody knew it. But I was always able to take it to the next level once once they could like explain to me the ins and outs of the position and what you need and what you don't need to do. So it was it was cool to have that for sure. In high school, was you uh, was you able to read good video as, as you would go over it with Philip? I mean, now with Huddle and everything, they're watching it on their phones. I mean, how much it would technology be mean to you, Sonny, today, knowing that you now that you experience it in the professional world and you've got all the technology, how much would that have been in high school and how important would that have been? Um, I mean, we use it. We use it all the time in in baseball, like right. with in, in Cincinnati and New York, and I mean in Oakland and all. Of, we use. I mean, we use it so much. But I remember in high school, though, it was like we had to. We would always we play a football. We'd play a game, and then we would always come over to your house, and we'd have to fix or you was like fixing the film and we had to rewatch the game but we couldn't rewind it or anything. No, no because I was tra transferring it to a DVD so we would sit there and watch yeah, it still. Yeah. And I, how many times did your dad say when you were in middle school, run that back? Run, yeah, say, you're like, we, I can't. You're like, I can't. I can't. So you, so you had to copy it before you could make a DVD where you just play it like a DVD player. But with what you can do now, it's insane. You can, you can film it. You can film it live. You can it's, it's, you can do everything. You can rewind it. I mean, instantly. You can see everything instantly, which is which is insane. Yeah, it is. Sonny, I won't keep you. You got the kids and everything. I just, uh, the you know, I, I, I've got the Battle of the Borough Friday night. We're going to be on the air and everything. But I just wanted to reach out to you. You know, the fans love you, and everybody always asks me. You know, uh, I'll, I'll ask one thing. Uh, you know, the, I know the Riverdale game was a big one, but if I could say, I would probably say your second biggest one fun game, it'd have to be Udawa, wouldn't it? That Udawa game was insane, man. I'm, I mean, the Udawa game and the Bearden game to go to state, both of those years were just crazy. I mean, those teams were so good. I mean, the Riverdale the Riverdale pass, the pass to Crouch when he did the little flip in the end zone. Yep. I'll, I'll remember that. Nine to seven. Five. 
Yeah, nine is, but that, that path, I'll remember that forever. Um, the Udawa and Bearden games were just crazy because they were both so good and so big. Um, it was like both times we got to state, we knew we were going to win. Yeah, it was like the semifinal game was the game that was state. Yeah. If we, I think everybody knew that, but those games were those games were saying the Riverdale game was probably the biggest, the one that we'll always remember. Um, but it was a lot, man. It was a lot of fun for sure. I remember, I remember. I remember all the plays. When I watch that video on YouTube, it's like a there's a couple of them you put up in there. I, I still watch them, and I, I still know when I when I show guys, I'm like I'm telling them what's about to happen before they happen. So it's you know that's how many times I've watched it. So it's cool, man. I I really appreciate it. Well, you know, Sonny, and, and that's what it is. You know, I, you know, I learned it. You know, uh, met you in youth football, and I was gathering all the data, and there was no YouTube, and so all we had were DVD. So I had all this library of stuff, but what, what was it going to do with it? You know, had YouTube never come along, you know, the idea of sharing the games and all that and the highlights, yeah. it, it, I mean, it really re, it really repositioned and retook the whole game and everything. Uh, it, it took it to another level. Uh, Cincinnati, you enjoying it? Love it, love it, love it. It's a great town. Bunch of Catholics, isn't it? Really good place, man. Yep, love it. Yep, Coach. Uh, we'll catch up. I'll, I'll, I'll text you. Are you be home next week? Yeah, I'm home. We just we're, we're home for the off season, so we'll be uh, home one day. I'll text you. Uh, let's hit the white ball next week. Let's go do it. I'll, I'll see you then. All right, see you then. Thank you. Bye.